Menu 11, R, CTCS, Receive Continuous Tone Coded Squelch System. Boy, is that a mouthful. In this video, we're focusing on Menu 11, R, C, T, C, S, which stands for Receive Continuous Tone Coded Squelch System. This setting is similar to R, D, C, S, but, but instead of digital codes, it uses analog CTCSS tones to filter incoming transmissions. If you've ever been in a situation where multiple users share the same frequency and you only want to hear your intended group, RCTCS is an essential tool. To adjust this feature, press menu, navigate to menu 11. Let's do this together. Menu, and we'll hit 11. And now press menu again and select a tone from the list of over 50 standard CTC SS tones, or set it to off if you want to receive all transmissions. Here, we'll go through this together. Menu, here we'll go up from off to 67, 69, 0.3, 71.9, so on and so forth. I'm going to leave mine off, hit menu again to lock that in. When enabled, your radio will only open its squelch for signals that include the matching tone. So, how does this work? CTCSS tones are sub-audible, meaning you're added to, the, to a transmission, but can't be heard by a human ear. Your radio listens for this embedded tone, and if it matches the one you've set, the squelch opens, allowing you to hear the transmission. If the signal doesn't include the correct tone, your radio stays silent, filtering out unwanted chatter or interference. This is incredibly useful for group communications in situations like outdoor adventures event coordination. I've used it in road trips and in particular it's good for repeater access. Many repeaters require a specific CTCSS tone to activate them, preventing interference from unauthorized users. However, it's important to remember that our CTCS doesn't provide encryption or security. Remember that. It simply helps organize communication by reducing noise from other users on the same frequency. Anyone who sets their radio to the same frequency without a tone will still hear everything, but they won't be able to break through your squelch unless they use the correct tone. Another thing to keep in mind is that using RCTCS means you won't hear general transmissions from other operators not using the same tone. If you're monitoring a channel for emergency traffic or open communications, it is best to turn off this feature. For best results, make sure everyone in your group is using the same CTCSS tone to stay connected without disruption. If you're working with repeaters, check the required tone ahead of time to ensure proper access. That's all for Menu 11 RCTCS. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll cover Menu 12 TDCS which applies digital tones to outgoing transmissions. See you next time. Thanks very much for watching and please like and subscribe to help me grow this channel.